2019, I said that there would be an event that completely dissolves civilization for at least a year. That would be so fun. I'm waiting. Then in 2020, I said that there, there would be a BTS burger. I can see them making some sort of food item, like, like the Travis Scott burger, but the BTS burger, or at least some food-related item that everyone can get. Anyways, I think that's it. Oh wait, no, I actually also said that I think there's, there's gonna, gonna be a significant asteroid that will be coming very close to Earth. Like, scientists won't be able to predict if it'll pass us or hit us. And it all came true. <laughs> Listen, I don't have a lot of talents. I don't have a lot of knowledge in my little coconut. There's nothing up there. But sometimes I just feel things in my bones, okay? But guess what? All throughout 2021, I have been thinking, what's next? And I have been writing them down, saving them, so that this day, the last video of 2021 that I'm posting, I'm gonna tell you my 2022 predictions, baby! Hey mamas, it's the day Jesus got birthed. I am filming this on Christmas Day because I'm alone, and what a better way to spend it than a 10 hour loop of a dancing cockroach <laughs> and my dog. Shut the hell up. Anyways, as I just proved to you, I can see the future. I sometimes just feel things in my bones, and I just know it's real. And I've predicted some pretty big things. I predicted. I did not just get an. Anywho, today I'm gonna tell you what's gonna go down in 2022 because I know there might not be a lot of knowledge up in my brain. Ah! Okay, it's time for us to begin. It's time to see what's going down in 2022, okay? Let me open up my notes app where I wrote this down at four in the morning. All right, we're gonna begin with a COVID <laughs> prediction. I predicted the entire pandemic before, so I'm predicting this. As y'all know, there's been a lot of COVID strains, some crazy ones like Omicron, where it just, it takes over and that's the only strain. My prediction is that next year, a new COVID strain is gonna be found. But here's the thing, it's gonna be more transmissible than any other variant. However, this strain is gonna have no symptoms. So everyone is gonna get it, but everyone will become immune. And that will bring us a whole leap closer to the end of the pandemic, okay? It could happen. No one thought, no one thought the BTS burger was gonna happen. But it happened. All right, uh, let's continue. <laughs> the queen will die. This one I was, I, I've been really debating on announcing because it, imagine this comes true. People are gonna start thinking I murked the queen and I basically can cross London off the list of places I can travel to because if I'm in the same place at the same time as the queen and she dies, it's gonna reflect very poorly on me. I've heard British food isn't very good. I don't wanna know what British prison food tastes like. However, I think she's gonna die but her death will not be announced immediately, okay? The government is not gonna let people know because they're going to lose their marbles. So they're gonna wait like a week or so and then they'll be like, yeah. she <laughs> dead. And everyone's gonna lose their mind. Okay, that, come on y'all. It is not that crazy of a prediction. I'm sorry, Elizabeth, <laughs> but you know, spring chicken. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, moving along. I don't know if y'all keep up with the news, but NASA recently launched a $10 billion telescope. And this thing apparently is supposed to be like 100 times more powerful than like any other thing that they've used to look at the stars before. People are anticipating like all this data. Are we gonna find life on, on Uranus? Not my anus, I'll tell you that much. I wash what the f anyways um however i think in the first few months of 2022 this telescope is going to be traveling through space and like an asteroid or some sort of space debris is gonna hit it and completely destroy it rendering it useless and then everyone is going to turn on nasa for spending all this money 10 billion dollars of taxpayer money on a telescope just for it to break while we're literally drowning in climate change and then everyone's gonna like turn on NASA. I said that already. 
I did say that already. Anyways, um, let's let's move along. A story is gonna come out that VR headsets like this one, headsets used to go into the metaverse. I literally bought this and have used it three times. Anyways, an article and like research is gonna come out that these actually cause negative health effects such as migraines, cancer, and then everyone is gonna drop these and the metaverse is gonna flop. I mean, I think the metaverse is gonna flop regardless. My screen time is already 13 hours. Do not need it to be more. Next up, I said this last time. <laughs> And I don't wanna backtrack, but I think Ariana Grande is gonna get pregnant. Ariana Grande is going to get pregnant in 2022. And then she's gonna like take some time off the music and then eventually come back with like a banger album. Next up, next up. Multiple countries are going to pull out from the upcoming Winter Olympics in February. This is gonna lead to the upcoming Olympics being like the most boring and uneventful Olympics to date. And the Olympics will begin its Flop era. Anyways, moving along. Britney Spears. She is gonna release an album in 2022 and then go on a sold out tour. However, the album will not be good and she'll be in this weird kind of place of pop culture where people are like, ah, Britney Spears. But also her music sucks. And then people are gonna feel real conflicted. And it's gonna be a little bit of drama. So we'll see. Move along, move along. Tesla will announce a flying car. And people are gonna lose their minds on Twitter. People are gonna be going crazy. Some millennial working for a newspaper is gonna make a TikTok being like, 10 reasons why you need, why you need the new Tesla flying car. <laughs> But then it's gonna flop. People are gonna realize it was like mostly a gimmick, just like the Tesla robot, and everyone will forget about it. There will be no plans to actually put it into production, and Tesla will also be in its flop era. Anyways, um, I think that Emma Chamberlain is gonna release a cookbook, and she's randomly gonna get into soups, and then everyone and their mother is gonna be obsessed with making soup. It's gonna be this whole trend. Like the way people were making coffee the past two years, people are gonna start making soups. Maybe that one's a little stupid. No, no, it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. Moving along, I'm predicting that Doja Cat is going to fight someone, physically fight someone in person. I don't know the circumstances, my crystal ball only told me so much, but she's gonna fight someone. <laughs> she's gonna win, cause she's Doja Cat. Obviously, but it's gonna become a big meme But then her record company is gonna tell her that she needs to calm down for a little bit thus preventing her from releasing any music in 2022 and Finally, I'm predicting that California is gonna have one of the craziest wildfires in like recorded history It'll be so bad that it finally like forces the government and everyone to take climate change seriously. Anyways, we'll see we will see. When I tell you I completely forgot about my predictions video that I made last year, and then all of a sudden I woke up, logged onto Twitter, and saw a, a, a bunch of people being like, Ben of the Week was right. And I was like, about what? And then I got really scared for a moment. And then I realized I predicted the BTS burger. So... In that video also, I mentioned that if at least two of the things that I predicted don't come true, I will give away $500 on Twitter. Now, I'm still going to go through with the giveaway. But here's the thing, I won't be giving away $500. I will be giving away 1,000 to 10 different people. Split up in in increments of $100. To clarify, I'm not giving away $10,000. <laughs> All you guys have to do is follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Ben of the Week. And then just tweet me your own prediction for 2022 using the hashtag Ben of the Week was right. Cause I was, after you get the BTS burger. I will be picking the winners on New Year's Eve. Look forward to it. I'm a man of my word, what can I say? Also, please have a PayPal account cause I don't have Venmo cause I am Canadian. I love you all so much. This is the last video of 2021. That's insane. What a genuinely insane year this has been. Like actually what? I cannot be, we started this year with like 1 million subscribers. We're almost at like 2.2. We hit 2.2. Thank you endlessly for all your support. Like it, I'm gonna cry. We have our intelligent glasses on. We don't have emotions. Thank you so much. I love you very, very much. I will see you guys next year. <laughs> if you make next year jokes like that, it's okay. Because I'm not going to joke shame people. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Love you so much. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, baby. Take care. Better the week. It's ciao.